Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today bringing us a brand new video of basically me placing my favorite tools or you just say my tools period that I use in Photoshop in a tier list from S to X, which X basically means like delete. Um, basically get an idea of what tools that I use personally inside Photoshop and also what I think are like the most valuable ones and X basically means deleting off the face of the planet if you ever use it, I don't trust you kind of you know idea. Um, okay, so with that being said though, if you guys wanna actually do one yourself, I didn't make it the tier list on like a website but i made it in photoshop obviously and if you want to actually make your own i'll put the I'll download link in the description for you guys to download it tweet it at me and let me just know what tools are you guys are using and let me also know in the comment section i'm a little bit nervous about this um like what tools do you think that were a mistake that i don't use enough or let me know why i should use them more because i'm down to use them but i just don't find any reason to so enjoy and uh yeah just hope you have a little bit of fun with this one enjoy Okay, so shall we get this thing started right here? So the first tool that we got going on for ourselves, the text tool, which I think it's a pretty easy one. You literally can't even do anything without the text tool written wise, like, right? So it makes sense for it to be an S tier. Nothing can replace the text tool. It's great, all that good stuff. We're gonna leave on there that we're just gonna move on, okay? Now, next tool is the pen tool. Now, to be honest with you, okay? <sighs> Basically, I don't know if anyone, I don't know. Okay, so what's the main purpose right now for you to use a text tool or the pen tool, excuse me. If you guys in the comments section below wanna let me know what your main purpose is, my main purpose happens to be cutting things out. Now for me, I've leveled up, okay, from pen tooling my little, like every single little hair and like moving across and like, blah, blah. I'm gonna go with the pen tool, I'll give you that. But I'm gonna be honest, okay? The, the pen tool has been replaced with select subject and like quick mask. There's no doubt about it. I don't use a pen tool that much that often anymore so for me i think a tiers are you know it's a good tool it's a great tool it does its job but i don't really use it that much anymore and if i'm being honest it almost even deserves b because i mean who's who's really using it you know i don't i will say a okay we'll go with a um okay next is the what even is this burn tool what the i forgot i even put that why would i even put this it doesn't even belong in here so in that case the burn tool and dodge tool is a delete okay I don't know about you, but I have literally met not one person who's used the burn and dodge tool past like maybe like seven years ago for any purpose to make things darker and like lighter and whatnot with the dodge tool. Why? Just like use like a levels or a color adjustment and actually like do it manually and like use a layer mask. What's the purpose of this? I'm not entirely sure if there is a, a future idea, like whoever's using burn and dodge tool like that for the for Photoshop to be like, yo, like this tool is still in use. Mm -mm, delete that to my, to my knowledge, it's deletable. Okay. so. This is the history brush icon, and I still don't know what it does. And I definitely Googled it before this video, and I still don't know what it does. So in that case, there's probably a reason for it, but to be honest with you, who's, I, I mean, you know, like, like it, I don't think, if I've never used it, there, there's definitely no way it's that, like, that, no. Okay, we're going, we're gonna go with delete, okay? So this tool right here, I believe is the, 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 the dodge tool down. No, the blur tool. Okay. Well, I, mm, okay, so there's been significant times where I'm like, okay, I can like use a little bit of blur here and I definitely use the uh, the blur tool, but realistically using like a gradient map or excuse me, like a, like a layer mask and like a layer for adjustments layer for like, you know, a Gaussian blur or whatever like that, that's probably better or an iris blur even looks even better in my opinion. But there have been moments I use this, it's definitely not deletable. I want it still because it is like a little quick adjustment. So I'm gonna say C tier. And we're good with that, I think, okay? So next though is a gradient tool, which for me, hmm, I would say like the gradient adjustment in like, you know, Photoshop or like the adjustments tab for a, a gradient map is like, that's 10 out of 10, like we love that. But gradient tool, genuinely, I have not used that as much and realistically, I wouldn't, wouldn't even wanna use it because using like a layer, filling it in and then using a layer mask uh, with like a, you know, a layer option with like a gradient map, it's pretty easier to control, change the angle faster, all that good stuff. So gradient tool for me is like, I don't even, I don't even, even use it like that. So I'm gonna say C tier, obviously and we're all good, but this one right here, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. The, the eraser tool is exactly what it should be, okay? It's no more, no less, it, you know, some people are like eraser tool, I love the eraser, no. B tier for sure, okay? 
B tier tool because I think using the brush and like layer mask combo, layer mask is gonna come up with a lot of these things. Layer mask combo when erasing things like black will erase with a brush, it's way quicker in my opinion. The only time I ever use the eraser is when I'm like writing things out in Photoshop. If you guys are using a brush, if you use the tilde key with a brush selected, it'll take that same brush and use it as an eraser. That's the only time I ever use it. So I'm gonna say B tier for the, 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 the eraser. It's a great tool, but like no low key, like it's, it's too permanent. Right, the layer mask is like you get to you get the flexibility. This is way too too permanent, and uh, we're going off with that. Okay, now the next tool is I believe the is this the clone stamp? Right, is that how you, is that the word for it? Okay, so this was actually the pattern stamp. To be honest with you, I think I meant to probably put the clone stamp one because there's generally no re reason I even put the pat. What the what is what even is that? Regardless though, the pa the clone stamp. We'll make this the pattern clone stamp thing. It's I. Right. I mean, there's if there if you're like a photographer, you're probably definitely using this like a lot. But for me, I'm not gonna be really using it as much. Almost, almost I'll put it in a B tier. I think B tier is pretty solid. Um, it's definitely usable. However, I do think like you know, just use. I like the patch tool more for that kind of stuff and like using like a you know like a constant aware. But that might not be the best when it comes to photography. So for my use cases, I think clone stamp is kind of like eh, iffy and kind of whack in my opinion. But for photographers, I can see a really good value to it. So I'm gonna say B tier, but it's just not for me. But it's a good tool in my opinion. And so, uh, okay, next is the brush tool, which I do think is a, is a solid, okay, it's a solid S tier. I use the brush to erase more than I use the eraser to erase. So in that case, S tier for me, plain and simple, and we're all good to go. So the eyedropper tool, um, I think it's probably the best thing to ever happen in Photoshop ever because it, my workflow is like 10 times better with this thing. I, I don't know if it's like an S tier moment or like an A tier moment. Nah, it's definitely better than the pen tool though. Honestly, the eyedropper tool is an S tier, okay? So when you're looking at it, like you're on the brush, you wanna quickly get a, get a color, you just hold all, you select that color and you're all good to go, like boom, holding all, like a brush tool, holding all, you find that color. It's really quick, very, it's perfect, right? There's really nothing better. And, uh, and you know, in my case, I do use this a lot by workflow to like quickly fill in colors. Like, oh, I want a, a blue text, I'll just type that in, alt backspace on the text and it makes it blue, right? Super, super sick. I'm gonna say S tier for sure for the eyedropper tool and we'll call it a day, okay? So next tool is the plane tool. That's what this is. That's this is a plane tool. I googled it, and it's basically like a clipping mask tool, with like holding a frame of like not having to actually adjust the canvas. No. So to be honest with you, what? Why though? Like really, what is the? Why? Now, for most of us, I'm gonna say that the plane tool is definitely like one of those like you know like a Reddit thread or, or like a. Someone probably just was like, didn't know how to use a clipping mask, and this is probably the best thing that Adobe thought of to help them out. Plain tool is just completely useless in my opinion. Literally, it's useless. I have literally no, I've never met a circumstance where I even thought about the consideration of using it, delete it, just get it out of my face. What is the point? If you use it, let me know why you use it, I guess. And that's, that's where I'm gonna leave it there. Um, okay, patch tool for me. Okay, the patch tool is elite. It's perfect, it's great. If I'm not using like a, how do you say, a, like a content aware, it's looking, it's basically exactly what I need to like delete something over. If I wanna move this logo out of the way, it's coming out of the way. Patch tool is the first thing I'm gonna try. Then I'll use like a, you know, content aware or like a, a clone stamp or whatever. That's, this is my first option. If it works this way, I'm like, perfect, we're good. So this to me is an A for sure. And patch tool, we love it, so appreciate you. Now we got ourselves with the, uh, how do you say, the crop tool, right? The crop tool is a pretty good tool. It's, it is what it is. Like, I, you know, I do find myself using it every now and again. Nothing too crazy, nothing like whatever. Um, it, you know, I usually, if I have a dimension to go for, it's gonna be that dimension. There's no reason to really cor uh, crop it, but there's a lot of cases where the crop tool is perfect and great in every single way. So I'm gonna say it doesn't belong in the A tier because I'm not using it like that. But B tier, I think, is a, is a pretty good spot to use it. I think we're gonna leave it on B tier. Now, the magic wand tool. Now, I don't have the quick selection. Oh, I do have the quick selection tool here. So this is the magic wand tool. I believe that's what the quick selection is. Hold on, is that what that is? Okay, it is. All right, so we do have the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool, even though technically they're in the same group. Now the magic wand tool was my best friend growing up as a designer. This was the, the one thing that I used. I used to click on like, you know, a gray, delete it, then click on the white, then delete it, then click on the blackish tone, delete it until I get the actual cutout. This was my best friend, but nowadays, realistically, the magic wand tool is used 
when select subject is just like being a little bit iffy and the background's just white i use it right so for me it's definitely it's a great tool it is what it is but if you're still cutting things out with a magic wand tool i'm a little bit curious because i also think how do you say like color range is better than magic wand tool but i'm gonna go ahead and say to myself this is definitely a c tier it's not like deleted it's not that great where it even belongs where like the eraser and crop tool and clone stamp is but it's a great tool i just think if you're still using this you're not using the best method to cut things out so that's what i'm gonna say right there okay so the lasso tool is up next the lasso tool is elite it's great um hmm I would say this is basically like the tool that I use when I'm like really lazy, just want to color something or circle something like real quick, delete it. This is definitely the tool that I use. I just press L, boom, get around something and delete it. I mean, this is definitely not an S tier, but a little bit of part of me thinks it belongs in the A tier because it's just, it's, it's perfect. It's a perfect tool. It's like having like a move tool with a selection on it, right? You just boom, lasso it. You can content aware from there. You can go to quick fills from there. You can go to delete from there. Like it's a great tool. We're going lasso tools in A tier for me. Now, next up is the rectangle marquee tool which i use for some reason quite a lot to make perfect cuts of like little straight edges and also with my boxes that i made even like on this layout right here i use the the, the rectangle marquee tool rather than like the how do you say the rectangle tool itself so i'm gonna go ahead and say this is a this is an a tier for me this is the, this is definitely gonna be a miscellaneous one like says so what the heck um but this one for me is an a tier i love it also one of my brandings that i've done for 100 thieves has been like the this grid layout which this is like my favorite thing to use so i'm gonna say a tier for this one and now the magic no this is not the magic wand tool. what the heck is it this is the what the heck is this oh this is the this is the zoom tool okay this is what um this is the zoom tool i don't think i've ever even clicked on this what is that what even happens when you click on it you just click left and right oh that's kind of cool but like no how do you how would i do this otherwise I, I would just press like you know alt and shift and just zoom in right yeah i don't think i've ever used the actual tool to zoom in like this even though i'm not gonna lie it's better than kind of it's it's a little more smooth than i thought like all in like shift would be is a little bit more choppier right and more like mechanical and mathematical when you zoom in this is a lot more smoother granted but i'm definitely not using that tool like that like there's no there's no chance for me i think it's like it no hell nah, no 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 i don't think i don't think it goes in b tier i think c tier it's a great tool it's good it's useful but i don't think i've ever clicked on it on the day of my life so i'm gonna go no but the this is okay this is can we all take a moment for ourselves and just appreciate and thank adobe for making a quick mask mode okay just a quick moment of silence this is just literally the perfect tool on the planet when it comes to cutting things out fixing mistakes like you know how many times you I've, I've circled around something and then one little mess up right there boom you know who why why do i want to do it again you know why do i want to go all the way around again obviously this is a little bit easier to go around i'll just do a little, quick little circle but something else is a little bit difficult right it's a little bit annoying to do it all over again so that's why q comes in handy you take your brush right boom you just go in here and fill that baby back out press q again and now you're good to go this is an S tier moment. This is a definite S tier moment. I love this tool with the burning passion. Um, and we're just going to go with that. Now, next, okay, is a pencil tool. Honestly, for one, <laughs> it looks pretty disgusting when you write with it. Like, it literally looks like crap. It's like, it's, it's like an, it's just, it's just really awkward. It's not really, it doesn't really feel like a pencil given the fact that it's, it's really one pixel wide. So every cut and corner you make, it's like a very pixelated, like weird corner. I'm not gonna lie. If you're not using the brush tool, at least for it, I'm a little bit, honestly, the pencil can go. This is definitely like a, this is like a, this is like a, what is it called? Paint moment. Like, no, delete it. It's all good. Now the hand tool, I'm never actually clicking on it, but I'm always holding space. Okay. This is the same look high five. Boom. Right right you get the moment i like it like it's a great tool but i'm never clicking on it but i'm definitely always grabbing and moving my stuff around like this so realistically if we're just talking about the functionality of this tool it's great it's perfect so this is definitely an s tier however no one's actually clicking on it if i was clicking on it, i put it in like a tier but you know what i mean yeah so okay move tool okay another great tool which i'm basically always using at all times no matter what my default after i'm done like designing anything i just press v, 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 v like 40 times and like that's my tool that i use and then i press select to actually control and click on things um so this is definitely an s tier as well i mean these are pretty easy at the end right then we got a direct selection tool which low key if you're using what is the other one called again okay so the other one's called the the path selection tool now for me i think i use the direct selection tool a lot more for everything even in like illustrator and whatnot but the path selection tool i'm never actually ever clicking on it i'm just rather like clicking on the path itself and then just like holding alt which then brings me or control excuse me which brings me to the actual controls of like the the path selection so i'm never actually using that much but to be honest like this is just like a for me for some reason i do feel like this tool is like kind of it's 
it's like a sneaky thing. You don't realize you use it a lot more than you think. So I'm gonna personally say B tier is a pretty good spot to be at. I'm gonna go with that. And now let's go with the last few ones right here is the paint tool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> I mean, do I really wanna delete? It's like so iconic and gray, but if we're being dead serious, Okay, if you're if you're if you're if your first thought to quick fill in a background is to take the paint tool, take your foreground color and click on the background, and then you get this weird little outside edge. We're not friends, and I don't know if you you need some help. Just a little bit. All you have to do, by the way, don't use the paint tool. Just literally like make a new layer and then choose your color over here, right? Right? And just press alt backspace. It'll quick fill it in. Okay. You don't need to use the pa the paint tool is a no-no. Okay. It'll, it'll save yourself. Okay. So Last one will be the quick selection tool, which I believe it's, I used to use this a lot more in the past. Now I think it's a little bit too kind of, you know, the AI doesn't kind of fit the same way as like an object selection tool uses or a like select subject uses. So I'm gonna say for the actual functionality and use cases, it helps me sometimes to get like a good enough selection and then I'll use a quick mask mode to then kind of fix it. But it's definitely a B tier. It's definitely not that great in my opinion. Um, obviously, if I if I had like uh, object selection, it works a lot more better. Or quick selection or select subject works way better. But this is it. This is my tier list. Okay, we got the pen tool, the brush, the eyedropper tool, the quick mask mode, hand tool, and the move tool as my absolute favorite tools in Photoshop. Now, of course, there's a few more that I can probably say I can bump up a little bit. But if I'm being realistic with myself, my tone of designing or my language of design might be a little bit different of yours. We're using a lot more of these different tools and other different aspects. Like I don't know if you're like I don't know like an architect or whatever, and you're using the pat the, this this plane tool, whatever the, whatever this does. If you're using it, then good on you. But I'm, for me, not me, but that's basically it, okay? That is my Photoshop 2022 tier list. And I wanted to give a title for it because um, there might be, a, might be a moment where I come back next year. I'll be like, okay, what tools am I using now? Because of course, you know, you know, when you grow up in the design more and more, you find a use case for the tool and you realize that you're missing out on it, which hopefully none of these deleted ones are ever going to be like that case. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. It's a very fun just uplift. Just It's like a middle of the week kind of video. Um, and hope you guys enjoyed it. Just kind of hearing my voice and getting my opinions on these tools. And uh, of course, I'll actually drop this PSD in the description down below for you guys to download it. Go on Twitter, at SimHQ. At SimHQ is my Twitter, okay? Go on it, tag me in some stuff. We're like, you know, if you know my alt account, you can tag it there too. And let's let me know what your actual tools are. And uh, is that Sirens again? Bro, I paid for Photoshop, I swear. Anyway, so I'll talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Peace. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love and enjoy your day. Peace.